This is the second lesson in our series on mental addition. It is your second step to being able to add numbers in your head ridiculously fast. The first lesson we looked at was on making 10, the numbers that add up together to make 10. 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. This lesson is called adding multiples of 10. What do I mean by multiples of 10? Multiples of 10 are numbers that skip count by 10, those answers that you get. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and so on. Any two numbers out of that bunch, you should be able, by the end of this lesson, to add them up no problem without counting on your fingers or any of that stuff. Here's the first example. We got two multiples of 10. We have 10, we have 20. 20 is a multiple of 10, and so is 10. If you add 10 and 20, now some of you might know the answer. Okay, that's great. But how do we show it using some sort of a diagram? Well, we can use base 10 blocks or fingers if you want. Now we're not going to always use that because it's going to slow us down, but we need to understand the concept before we get good at it so that you know you can build speed along the way. So 10 is just a rod. 20 is two rods. Remember that from when we were doing uh, representing numbers with base 10 blocks? Now if you add them together, you're going to get three rods, which is 30. Okay, now the second example, we're going to have 30 and 40. 30 is three rods, 40 is four rods. If you put them, if you put them together, you add them up, you're going to get seven rods, which is 70. Here's the third one, 70 and 20. That's great if you know the answer already, but, but it's always important to review stuff like base 10 blocks. 70 is just 7 rods. Here they are. 20, 2 rods. Add them together, you get 90, or 9 rods. Can you do this one? 60, 6 rods. 40, 4 rods. Add them together, you get 100. Now here's a really cool trick you could use. Remember we said you're going to have to add these very quickly in your mind? Well, here's a trick you can use in your mind. If I give you 10 and 20, what's 1 plus 2? 3. And then just put the 0 and the 0 on the end. You get 30. If you get 30 and 40, just add the 3 and the 4 and you get 7. And then 0 and 0 is 0. You get 70. Now that's essentially what we're doing with base Excuse me. It's essentially what we're doing with base 10 blocks. When I say 30, I'm talking about 3 rods or 3. If I'm saying 40, I'm talking 4 rods or 4, right? Put them together, you get 7 rods, like how I was saying. 3 and 4 is 7. And you can use this trick every single time. Here's level 2 of this type of strategy of, make, of adding multiples of 10. If I gave you blank plus 20 and I said it makes 50, Here's what you do. Make your 20, here they are, 10, 20. Now how many more do we need to add to these 20 to make 50? Well, we're gonna have 20 here, 30, 40, 50, and I stop. All I needed was three rods. And what's three rods? 30, so 30 plus 20 is 50. Or, using the trick, three plus two is five, zero plus zero is zero, we get 50. See if you can do this one. 10 plus something makes 40. What is that missing number? Well, we could say 1 plus 3 is 4, so we're going to get 30. Or we could draw base 10 blocks and say 10 here, another 10 is 20, 30, 40. We stop because we got our answer 40, and there we go. We got 10 plus 30 is 40. Try these two. What answer goes here? Well, we have 20 here. We need to get up to 80. 20 plus something. Something plus 20 is 80. What's that something? It's going to be... Now, we got two rods here. One, two. Here's the third rod. Fourth rod. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth rod. We add them together. We get 80. But how many did we need to put over here? 60. Right. 30 plus something is 40. Well, that's an easy one. You just go there that's the fourth one now we got 40 or and, and so it's 10 or you could say 3 plus 1 is 4 you get 40 here we got 6 plus 2 is 8 3 plus 2 is 5 
1 plus 3 is 4, and then just add the zeros at the end. Now, this stuff here, don't get tricked here, okay? I know some of you are probably looking at this and saying, oh, well, wait a minute. And all these other questions, the plus sign was on the left side. See the last page that we did? The plus sign was always on the left side, and the equal sign was at the end. But look at this question here. We got 50 equals, and then blank plus 30. Anytime you get a question like that, don't panic. Don't panic at all. Just start reading it on this side. Okay, say something plus 30. So you're going to read it backwards. You're going to go something plus 30 equals 50. Okay, cover this up. Let me show you here what I mean. You're going to do this side. Let's change colors here. This is blending right in. Let's go, uh, let's go green. We're going to say something plus 30 equals 50. And then figure what that is. And if you did that, you're going to say, okay, well, here's 30, 10, 20, 30. I just need these two over here to make 50. So that's 20. 3 plus 2 is 5. See, you're just going backwards. Here's another one of these type of advanced level questions. I've got 10. Remember, now, look, I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to go 10 plus something equals 30. Here's 10. If I put two more rods, there, I've got 20. 1 and tw 10 and 20 is 30. Here I've got 100 equals something plus or 60 plus something. Here's 6 rods. That's 60. I need to add 4 more rods. Very good. Add those 4 rods there and then I've got 100. And then the last one, I've got 90 equals 30 plus something. So here we have 30. Let's draw 30. How many more do I need to get up to 90? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. How many more did I need to put in? 60, right? Or you could say 3 plus 6 is 9, and then throw the 0 in there. So the lesson out of this page, the advanced level page, is that if the numbers on are on this side of the equal sign, where it's kind of like the whole equation is reversed, just start on this side. Don't make it a big deal. Just do, you know, read it right to left. Now, if you find that, you know, you're still being challenged by this, rewind the video and watch it all over again because we're going to start this little uh, activity, this little game. It's the speed game that we played in the last lesson. We're going to play it again, but we're going to be doing it with these kind of questions. So once you find yourself ready, you can unclick the pause button um, and then let's start the game. So again, I'm going to reveal these boxes. And when I do there's going to be a missing number and you have to tell me what that missing number is before I click it. Right. Let's start it. Practice one first. Ready, set, go. Okay, well if you said 70 before I clicked 70, give yourself a point. Let's do it again. Well done if you got 90 first. Let's see who's going to get the next one first. Ready, set, go. Well done. Now, if that was tough for you, go back and watch the lesson over again and practice those numbers, practice those concepts so that you get fast at them. Here we go. Well done. 70, give yourself another point if you got it. All right, how many out of those three did you get? I hope you got all three of them. Fifty, good job. All right, guys. I hope you got three out of three. I hope you beat me in every single one. Ten, good. Eighty. Good job, guys. I hope you got another three out of three. Okay, now we're moving on to the advanced level ones. You're going to notice that the equations are now flipped around. So the remember, you got to go read it backwards now. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I had to give you a little bit of extra time on this one. I hope you didn't need the extra time, but I gave it to you anyways. But now I'm going to pick it up. Well done if you beat me. All right, we got one more page. Here we go. 
Make this count, guys. You could do it. Come on. Awesome job, guys. Look, keep practicing this stuff. I know this might have been a little bit tough for some of you, but you know what? Practice makes perfect. I want you to keep improving on this stuff, and only once you've mastered this lesson and the last lesson should you move on to the next lesson. All right, guys, I'll see you there. I wish you all a great day, and farewell.